Hello everybody, Miss Jackie Russell here and happy Mass Monday. And how are you all doing today? Did you have a good weekend? Mine was pretty good overall. Been busy because you know Christmas is just right around the corner and oh my goodness there's just so much to do and I know we're all busy. I'm sure some of you have been out shopping, maybe going to some of the bazaars or Christmas bazaars. Just so much going on right now and I'm gonna do the Emasis 24 karat gold eye patches. Are you all masking up today? I think with the weather change, and then I think someone mentioned in the comments when it gets colder, your skin seems to be a little drier, I guess because you turn on the heater. And I think that's what's been going on with my skin. But it just feels tauter than usual, and I would just have to contribute that to that. And I am aging, as we all are, because things are changing. But I'm going to do the Aceology again. It's the Probiotic Restoring Biodegradable Mask and it is a soothing mask and I thought maybe that would be good. I know last week I told y'all I was going to do the Banish products and I did use them for a few days but for me I don't think they're going to work out. I think the C serum and whatever it is is was too harsh for my skin. I don't think it's going to work out so I'm probably not even going to do anything other than tell the company that it's not for me. When I went on the website and just googled it, there's all kinds of great reviews on it from different people and positive things, but most of it's for acne and you know I'm way past that stage and my skin of course is different because I'm 63 years old so I'm thinking you know maybe that was part of it I have sensitive skin anyways so it was just I don't know too harsh is all I have to say on it I mean to the point where some areas of my face got a little burned from it and it could have been combinations of other things that I was putting on so I can't really give an adequate review other than it didn't work for me and if you have acne and you're young it could be a great product for you especially for scars and stuff but like I said I don't really have that issue at all. Now there's a few things I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to have a winner announcement and it's from the Let's In Style and I'll be telling you who the winner is for that giveaway and it was selected jewelry from what they had sent me from Let's In Style and I'm going to read some questions, a Q&A that Kim from Hanging Out With Kim had challenged me Oh my goodness, probably about a month ago. And I told her I'd get to it when I could. And I'm going to try to get to that today. So that's one thing. We're going to have a Q&A. And then I have some friend mail. I think what we'll do is I'll go ahead and announce the winner. That way, if you're on here to find out who the winner is, you can do that. And if you want to continue on with us, well, I would certainly encourage you. And if you are new here, I would like to ask you to subscribe and be a part of our YouTube family. And let me know that you've joined because I like to get back with you guys. You know, I comment back on every comment just about. The only ones I don't comment on is when we do winners and giveaways and it's thank yous and we're all thanking everybody I put little hearts on there but everything else I try to answer back if I ever miss one it's because it wasn't sent to me and I know this is gonna sound weird but sometimes I'll have comments that I'll find under the video itself and that wasn't sent to me in my comments of my studio so I miss some maybe because of that and the other news I want to say is I'm going to have a Christmas giveaway this year and it's going to be a little different and I haven't figured out all the, the details yet. But as soon as I do, I'm going to be, you know, of course, having a video, having a giveaway and telling you all about it. And that'll be coming up in the month of December. So be sure and stay in tune for that. And I know a lot of our channel friends are doing advent calendars. So be sure and watch their advent calendars. They're doing daily 
advent calendars of the ones that they purchased. And one in particular I know that's doing a giveaway involved with hers is Mary Catherine Loves Cats. She's doing some type of Christmas treasure giveaway. And you'll need to watch her videos every day in order to, I guess, enter toward the end. And I'm not sure if Arlene with Unboxing with Arlene is doing anything special. I know she's been doing lives with the Wheel of Fortune with her over 800 subscriber giveaways and playing games and if she does do a live they're usually on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. and then I think Mary is going to have another live but I'm not sure if it's this Friday or next Friday so you'll have to tune into her channel to find out when her live is and another channel that I know does lives on a regular basis is Lori Latimer on Sunday evenings if you can make it and on Lori she usually starts around 8 or 9 at night it's a little later and I don't really get a chance to be on there too much because I'm already getting ready to, to go to bed but I do try to pop in from time to time and the other one is Wicked Awesome Lifestyles with Sherry and Erica. They have a live usually every Monday and I think it starts at 6 or 7 p.m. 6 p.m. maybe Central Standard Time and it's always a lot of fun there and they usually play some games and then just have like what I would call hot topics. You never know what they're going to talk about. <laughs> but that's kind of what's going on with that. I've been in the process of getting my Christmas cards out so I am sending Christmas cards out this year but they may not be like they were last year. I didn't get special order cards. I kind of ran out of time and with the cost of everything they had gone up like almost double. So I decided just to send you a card. It's a nice little card and I hope you appreciate it. But anyway I am sending cards out and I haven't done them all yet but I'm in the process. But anyways, I think I'll tell you who the winner is. This was uh, the Let's In Style and they had sent me several products and I had multiples of several. And the winner of the Let's In Style giveaway is a new to my channel in the recent few months. It is A. Taylor. A. Taylor, you have won and I'm not real sure about your first name. I'm thinking it might be Amy or Amber, but I don't know. But you are definitely a new winner on my channel, and you won the Let's In Style. So let's congratulate A. Taylor. And yay, I'm so happy for you. She's been a great subscriber, very supportive, and I know she's supportive of many other channels as well. And she always comments, always has positive things to say, and she's just a very sweet person. And I adore her in the short period of time that I've got to know her. Now, that's our winner, and that's our only announcement for winners today. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my friend mail real quick. The first thing I'm going to bring up is a card that I got from DD. DD is a subscriber and she has been a longtime friend and subscriber of my channel for a while now. And her husband, Bill, this is from Bill and her. And guys, this card is beautiful. Look at this card. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. The blue Santa. Oh my goodness. I decorate my Christmas in blue. And look at all the little puppies that are around. This is so appropriate, Dee Dee. Thank you. And look, did you notice there's red cardinals in there too? Very nice. And she's got 2023. It's time of sharing, time of giving, a time of believing. Merry Christmas. Love, Bill and Dee. I'm going to just kind of cover that up because I don't even know if she really wants that scene on here. But this is her card and it is a beautiful card. And on the inside, it has more puppies as you can see. And she's known as Wilma to you one. Thank you, Dee Dee. You're such a great friend and we're still enjoying the jam. It is so good. I have to say it's getting low, but we're still enjoying it. Now I got a package from Dream Big Productions Plush Bat Fan. And I got two here. We're going to go through and see what he sent this week. Plush Bat Fan has a channel and he does gaming on his channel and he's doing some Hello Kitty. And in this packet we have this. Oh, we have a note. Inside this package is drink coasters and a blue cosmetic makeup bag. Have a nice autumn season, November 24th. And I guess these are my little coasters. They're like little paper coasters and there's quite a few of them in here actually. And he said they're 
drink coaster, so that's nice for the holidays. And then we have a nice little cosmetic bag, and this was from Q Vision, and it's even got a little pouch over here to maybe put a card or something in there. And it's a zipper pouch, and it's very nice. Thank you very much. What a nice little bag here. And it'll be great for taking, you know, anything. You could have liquids in there, your makeup. You could even use it for other things, like a little first aid kit. So very nice. And then I received another package from Plush Bat Fan. And as I was saying, he does have a channel, so go over and check him out. I'll have him linked down in my description. He does the game. They're about three to four minutes each and they're retro games of math and addition and multiplication. And he's showing Hello Kitty on his shorts and on his community tab. So be sure and take a look and go by and say hello to Plush Bat Fan. Now he sends a lot of vintage things in here. We have sing-along story tapes. How about that? And these will be retro. He's got my note taped down in the bottom there, so I'll just read it from the bottom. It says, Greeting. Inside this package is additional cassette tapes for listening center station. We have a total of 15 Hello Kitty watches now. Most of those have flashing lights just to fit in with the holiday season. Our watches worn on our wrist are currently our Christmas decorations. We will not decorate Christmas decorations decorations from our residence because the chore takes way too much time and the holiday decorations are more expensive. Have a wonderful autumn and winter season and this was on November 27th 2023 which happened to be my husband's birthday and he turned 70. In here we have all kinds of sing-along songs. It just says it's phonics and friends. So that one says fill the pot. So there's just going to be a variety. It's nice. That, oh <laughs> the three little pigs. So these are going to be some of nostalgic vintage cassette tapes fun with mud i'm sure these are going to be great to listen to my little dog <laughs> just all kinds here penny and ted so that is really really nice Thank you very much. The Boy Next Door. And there's 11 of them in here. Very nice. Thank you very much, Plush Butt Fan. Sing along songs and story tapes. I was trying to see if there was a date on here. Because like I said, he does send vintage items. But I don't see a date on this one. But you know, we haven't had cassette players in quite some time. So that will give you some idea. Okay, that's my friend Mel. I want to thank both Dee Dee and Plush Butt Fan. Thank you very much for the card, Dee Dee. It's lovely. It's actually quite beautiful. I'm going to show it to y'all one more time. It's so pretty. And I love what you sent, Plush Bat Fan. Thank you very much. I know the kids, when they come up, will get a kick out of listening to some of those songs there. Now, the questions that Kim from Hanging Out with Kim sent, there's 20 of them. And let's see how far we're into this. We're already almost, you know, I don't know, 15 minutes so I'll try to get through these pretty quickly. The first one is, who is your hero? And I read that before I even started playing this, and I just, I don't know who would be considered my hero. I'm not much into hero worshiping or goo goo gaga or too much of anything, really. So, I mean, if I was to get right down to basics, I'm just going to have to say Jesus, because he saved me, and, you know, through the grace of God. So, that would be my hero. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Well, if I could live anywhere, I'd probably want to live by a beach. And I don't know that I'd want to live out of the United States. So I'm going to say I would like to live in Florida, maybe to one of the best beaches that they have over in Florida. My second choice, I guess, would be living down on the coast in Texas, which I have lived before in Corpus Christi. But there's a new little town that Elon Musk is making up called Boca Chica. And I might want to live there and might have opportunity because James works for... Elon Musk and goes to Boca Chica quite a bit. They have a launch pad there and he works on the rockets and he could get transferred there. And if he were to get transferred, that's a long way. Texas is so big. We're in the Dallas area and Boca Chica would be 12 hours or more to get to. That's how long and big Texas is. So if all of them move down there, then I might want to move down there too. But anyway, the next question is, what would you change about yourself if you could? Well, I think I would try to be 
and I have worked on this, less of a perfectionist. I think growing up, I always felt like I had to be perfect, and you can't. <laughs> you can't be perfect. The only way I know is through Christ, and then you're not even perfect. You're perfect in His sight, but you yourself as a human being, you're not. So I would just have to say, you know, give myself a break and not feel like I'm failing if it's everything's not perfect. And I have been working on that, and I would say I've been doing fairly good in the last few years. So, which is good because, yeah. And the other thing is miss, being misfixed. You can't fix everything. And that goes along with that thinking everything has to be perfect. Well, you can't fix everything. You can't fix people. They have to fix themselves. And that's probably something else that I was guilty of trying to do. What really makes you angry? I'd have to say the worst thing that makes me really angry is being lied to or just someone lying I, I don't like that I don't like that at all I like to be truthful and I definitely don't want to be lied to or misled to believe something that's not true it says what is your favorite book to read and I don't read very many books and the only thing I read every day is my Bible so I'm gonna have to say the Bible is my favorite what makes you laugh the most <laughs> well probably the thing that makes me laugh the most are just simple little things Things. My little puppies, of course, make me laugh. A good comedy movie will make me laugh. And just watching children and my grandkids, they make me laugh. <laughs> if you could choose to do anything for today, what would it be? I don't know. If I could be anything, I really don't know what I would be. A better person, that would be great. What would you sing at a karaoke night? Okay, now I have done that before, and my biggest songs that I sing have been Crazy and Harper Valley PTA and I Beg Your Pardon. Now, those are all older songs that I've been singing for a very long time and sound very much like those songs, I think. I think a lot of other people do too, but anyway, those those are some, of course, I like some other ones, but I've sang many a songs in karaoke. Okay, would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Well, I'd rather drive a car. Would you rather wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom? Well, I think out of those three, I'd rather wash the dishes. If you could hire someone to help you, would it be to clean? Yes, that's what I would do. If I hired someone to help me, it'd be to help me clean and help up with the dogs. Do cooking or yard work cooking? I don't do yard work. My husband does or used to. Doesn't do as much anymore. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? What would my one meal be for the rest of my life? Pot roast with the potatoes and carrots. That sounds good. I think I could probably eat that every day. Or chili. Have I ever had a nickname? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've had several. My mom used to call me Miss Astor when I was a little girl. And I'm talking about I shouldn't say when I was a little girl. She continued to call me Miss Astor all my whole adult life. I was Miss Astor and my sister Lori was Miss America. She was Miss America because she was always smiling and outgoing. I was Miss Astor because I was so matter of fact and that's the way I'm going to be and that's what I'm going to do and that's why you should do it. So yeah, very outspoken and so I was Miss Astor. And of course my other nickname, I was Mina Bird in high school. Mina Bird because... <laughs> So they call me Mina after the bird Mina bird because I was always asking who, what, and where and constantly because I'd always come in at the tail end of whatever was going on. And then my Rotary Club member, John Frazier, gave me the Miss Jackie Russell nickname and I've had that nickname now for over 10 or 12 years years a long time because I put my Instagram as Miss Jackie and my YouTube as Miss Jackie and I did all of that 10 or 11 12 years ago and so that nickname has been the most recent one that I've been using for a, a while if you could go back in time what year would it be I would probably enjoy going back to the Victorian era I'd find those movies and stories very interesting and intriguing. So I think that's the time that I would like to go back in. List two pet peeves. Okay, well, kind of what I told you earlier. I, I do not like 
liars. And my other pet peeve is a repetitive conversation that goes nowhere. I can't stand that. You know, get to the point. Don't just sit there and jaw, 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 and there's no real thing coming out of your mouth. You know, I just feel like don't waste my time. So the lion and that there would be my two pet peeves. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, I'll be 68 years old. It would be nice if I'm completely retired and maybe even living somewhere like in a special retirement area. And I don't even know if that's even possible, but... <laughs> That's something I would aspire to. And when I say living, I would rather right now, yes, I'm getting older, my husband has Parkinson's, I'd rather be in a condo or a living community for people over 55. And that's where I see myself. It says, how many pair of shoes do you own? Too many to count. I would have to say way over a hundred pairs. And I wear the same ones over and over, which is only a few. So how stupid is that? But I have a whole closet full of shoes, all kinds of shoes and boots and sandals. And like I said, too many. I mean, I even have some stored in what do you call those little plastic bins or whatever and I do go and get in them when I'm looking for a specific pair of shoes but as I get older I'm not using too many of those so I mean it kind of seems silly but I got way too many shoes what would you do if you won the lottery well if I won the lottery I know one thing I wouldn't do is you can't give all the money away like people think that you can because my sister-in-law did win the 200 million dollar lottery in Missouri the first one of the millions she was the first winner of that when they combined the states and of course when they asked her what she was gonna buy with it she said a new refrigerator <laughs> and Bill was gonna buy a new truck but everybody thought you know your sisters become a millionaire instantly and you're just you're gonna be rich too no that's not how it works you can't just give away thousands and thousands of dollars the tax on it is so ridiculous so if you give someone a hundred thousand it's going to be taxed 50000 on them and on you too. So it's a washout. It just, that would be the most weirdest thing. But if I was to win, I would try to give as much as I could. And the yearly amount is 11000 I think, per person. So I might set up something in my family where they could receive money so much per year. Or maybe as a one-time gift. I don't know. That's, it's such a, I don't know. And then the crazy people that come out. Out. you just can't imagine they had people sitting on their lawns they had people calling and saying you're killing us because you won't give us money my daughter's dying my son's dying because you won't pay their hospital bill I mean they had all kinds of crazy stuff so I'm not even sure I'd want to win I don't play the lottery so chances of me winning will be never but I will say you can't just think that you're going to be you know my first impression is that I would just give all this money away but then I learned from their experience that it's just not feasible in the sense of the way you think because of the taxes and the way they tax you on it. I mean, the government's going to get their big share of everything. You can still give. You just have to do it. I don't know what the right word is, but you just have to do it in the right way. you got to definitely get an accountant. So that'd be the first thing I'd do. Get me an accountant and lawyers and figure out how I could do stuff. And of course, I'd completely retire and I could definitely live in one of those homes that I was talking about or in one of those communities so anyways I don't know but I don't play the lottery so I don't have much of a chance to win and then it says if you could share a, a meal with four people living or dead who would it be well I would like to have a meal and probably sit down with Jesus I would like to sit down and have a meal with my mom and dad because they're both passed and I would like to have a meal, I think, with my father-in-law. So those would be the four people. And they're all past. I would like to have a meal with three for one last time and the other because I do eat meals with Jesus, but they're all in spirit. I would like to sit down with a meal with him. And then how many pillows do you sleep with? Well, I sleep with three pillows. I'm going to take this off while I'm talking. I have three pillows, one for my head, and I got that weird 
weird kind where it keeps your neck straight. And then I have a Mr. Pillow or whatever that pillow guy is for my legs. And I sleep with that in between my legs or have my legs over it to keep my hips from hurting while I'm sleeping. And I don't even know if that makes sense, but I just have to say I have a pillow for my legs, pillow for my head. And then that little Fat Fit Fun pillow that we got that was all nice and soft and cozy, I sleep with that. That's in my bed too. So <laughs> those are my pillows. This mask and the eye mask is wonderful. Feels really good. My face feels fully hydrated and I love that. And I hope y'all have enjoyed my question and answer. And sorry if I just couldn't figure out some of the answers you know, four people living or dead. And, you know, I'm sure there's other people I might want to have a dinner or a meal with, but that's just who I think of right now. On December 6th, my mom will be gone a year, and my dad's been gone since 2021, kind of since I started my channel. I think I started my channel January 21. So he's been gone a couple of years, but you don't ever forget him. I will say that my father-in-law, oh my goodness, he's been gone since 1995. He died when Selena died in Corpus Christi. That same, within a few days of that, because when we were driving back from Missouri from his funeral, all we seen was all these cars that says, we love you, Selena. We love you, Selena. And we had not listen to the news so we did not know that she had been murdered and died so of course when we got to Corpus Christi it was just like morning city I mean people were mourning everywhere in the newspaper I worked for the newspaper and they did great spreads on Selena and I have I don't know four or five of those original newspapers that came out with her death and all about her that I saved and then of course they built a little memorial statue thing downtown of her but she was really you know really loved by a lot of people and you know that was her hometown it was like I said I'll, I'll never forget that it might have been 1994 it was whenever that was 94 95 when he died and she died but anyway long time but that is my mass monday i'm not gonna hold y'all up anymore i've talked quite a bit i want to thank Dee Dee again for my card i want to thank plush bat fan dream big productions for my sing-alongs and my little cosmetic bag and drink coasters thank you very much and be sure and go check him out i'll have his link down in the bottom and congratulations to a taylor don't forget to congratulate congratulate our winner and I do want to say I have a couple more giveaways out there the 24 days of sticky Christmas is ending on December 6th and I'll be announcing that winner probably next mass Monday and I also have a fat fit fun triple crown battle out and that will end on December 16th and then I have a ice cream beauty giveaway and that will end on December 10th I think so there are a few giveaways be sure and check my descriptions for those and as I said, I am thinking and working on a Christmas giveaway series. And I will give you all more information on that as I have it developed and figured out exactly how I'm going to do it. But it's going to be a fun little Christmas cheer giveaway. And there'll be multiple giveaways. It won't just be one. And I wish you all a great week. And as usual, I wish you all a blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.